And this next one is going to be Rise of the Unted, written by Joshua Dunn. This is 71 pages. It's a short story. Uh, 99 cents, and it's available on Kindle Limited. Here's the author's description. Rise of the Unted follows the unfortunate adventures of Ted as he starts his new life as an unholy abomination. Only time will tell if he will be another mindless minion to become something else. But first, Ted has to kill his killers. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but sometimes what does kill you just makes you angry. So there we go. Um, this is a short story, um, and in a lot of ways that, that, that limits the amount of RPG game mechanics that are, that are available in the story because it does focus more on the, the plot line section of it. And I personally could see this actually developing into a full blown three, 400 page novel. Um, but if it does, I really do hope that those RPG mechanics are developed a little bit better. In the story, the main character is summoned from our world to, to a fantasy, um, to a world, of, of like a fantasy magic world. Um, he is accidentally, he is accidentally summoned. He's killed and raised as an undead by a necromancer as part of an experiment. Um, not only that, but if another spirit or aspect is put in charge of his body and obeys the necromancer. There's some good humor in the story. Um, there is good action and interesting twist on what the undead kind of concept plays around with. Um, however, a little bit wisely and it's pretty late. Um, there's actually nothing liturgy related or RPG related at all until like the third 30% mark on the story. Um, and there's exactly one character sheet that you get to see. Um, and there are skills and stats and levels, and there are uh, plenty of notifications after that point, um, on a fairly regular basis. But, um, again, the, the story does focus more on the aspect of the main character line to control his powers, gaining agency, uh, getting his revenge, all in a very kind of a fantasy portal fiction kind of way so um overall it's an entertaining read short I, I like short stories but i'm also kind of in the minority uh in the general category of enjoying short stories um but i, I would definitely read a second book or even like a not a longer novelized version of the story which i think would actually do better um gets a score of 7.4 out of uh 10 for me and that's mostly because it loses a little bit because again that rg aspect isn't isn't um developed and deeply embedded enough, I think, in the story for me. Um, it's a, that part was a slight disappointing. Not that it doesn't exist, not that it's not literary genius, because of the nature of short story, you gotta kind of make sacrifices, you gotta make decisions on what you're gonna spend your time on. And the author simply chose to spend more time on the plot development of, of, the, of, the, of the undead main character, uh, which is a, a perfectly valid story choice, but again, for someone who loves RPG mechanics and seeing their depth and their exploitation and, and the rules expanded, um, a lot of that was summarized or just, you know, not as, not as deep as I was hoping to see me. So it gets scored against 7.4 out of 10 for Rise of the Inted. Enjoyable. Loses a little bit because um, of the RPG stuff, but still a very enjoyable short story. Recommend you reading it.